Hi, welcome to Moments with Pastor Belinda. I want to share with you this morning about how powerful your testimony is. It is something that God has given you. It is something that no other person on earth understands or knows what God brought you through more than you do yourself. I want to encourage you to step out. I want you to speak it. I want you to verbalize what God has done for you. Um, don't keep it to yourself. There are so many out there that need to hear your overcoming testimony. And in the word it says, and they overcame him because of the blood of the lamb and because of the word of their testimony. The word of your testimony will send demons fleeing. The word of your testimony will bring life and healing to those that need to hear it. So don't hold your word in. Don't be ashamed. I remember one time years back, the Lord started giving me lots of visitations in the spirit. He would come and take me and we would fly over cities. He would point out things and he would say for one instant, just so you'll know what I'm talking about. The Lord says, Belinda, do you see that building? And I said, yes, Lord, it's bright, it's glowing, and it's shaking like jelly. And the Lord said, that business belongs to me. The owner of that business seeks me in what they do. I have a part in that building. It is alive. And then he showed me another building, and he said, Belinda, do you see that building? And I said, yes, Lord, it's dark and black. There's nothing there. And he said, I have nothing to do with that business. That owner does not seek me. That owner does not want my input. I, do have, I have nothing to do with that business there. So when you are telling testimonies, it brings life to other people. And the reason I told you that was he started sharing these experiences with me. And um, I said, Lord, you know, do I share these with the church? Do I testify about these with the people? And he said, yes, I want you to make my bride jealous. I want you to make them jealous for experiences with me. And you know what that tells me? You can have the same experiences that I have in the Lord. You can have the same visitations of angelic beings that I have with the Lord. You can have anything that is God's but he wants you to share it. He wants you to tell of his overcoming. He wants you to show people that there is a way out. He wants you to show people that there is life. After all of these ashes, God will bring beauty. And if you share your testimony, you will have such an influence on others that you never dreamed of. So find some confidence somewhere. Uh, let me see, pull yourself up by your bootstraps and go with it tell your testimony breathe life unto people put words out there and as those words go forth the power and presence of god will anoint it um i've written a book on uh praying with tongues of fire and i had several tell me one lady in particular told me she said while i was reading your book um she said a knot came up in my throat and she said i had a really bad headache and she said, you know, I had been losing vision in my eye and it was all blurry. And she says, as I read your book, this lump came up in my throat. And she said, I just, I just didn't know what it was. And she goes, I kept reading and I thought maybe I need to keep reading. This lump came on up into her throat and y'all are already guessing what it was. It was a spirit. And as she continued to read the, my book, it came out of her mouth. And as this come out of her mouth, her headache left her vision immediately corrected in that eye and it was a spirit of infirmity that had attached itself to her and it's not that my words are powerful because they are not it's not that i have the almighty gift because i don't but i do have the authority from the one who does have that to step out and free people and tell them jesus can heal you jesus can change your life jesus will bring peace to your troubled family. Jesus can deliver you from addiction. Jesus, he can replace a broken heart. He can give you life after all hell has broke out upon you. Those of you who have experienced this, breathe it out, tell it. Tell it to anyone that'll listen about what God has done for you. Breathe life into the, the people around you. And as I begin to share things that the Lord had done for me, to make his bride jealous for him, they been, began to get jealous. Um, I remember right at the beginning, I had mentioned to a friend that the Lord had told me to make the bride jealous. And she says, well, 
What I think is, I, I'm afraid you're just going to make people get mad because they think, who does she think she is? Well, the Lord doesn't work that way. Um, when the Lord tells you to do something, he's got all the bases covered. He wants you to step out and speak it. So you need to step out and speak it. And I find in hindsight, yes, it makes the bride jealous for him. When I tell what God has done for me, it makes others want to experience those supernatural things. Supernatural visitation, supernatural travel and prayer, supernatural, you know, demon casting out, supernatural healings and miracles. It isn't just for Belinda. It isn't just for my pastor, Rusty. It is for everybody who wants to reach out and walk in it. It's for the Christians. The kingdom is here. If we will tap into it, we can make a difference in everybody's life. We can make a difference to the people who have no hope. We can tell them, yes, Jesus will heal you. Yes, God will heal you. Jesus has overcome that. I've already seen his victory over that. And it is an awesome experience to share what God has done and watch God do it for another person. We were in the mountains of Nicaragua and I was praying for a young girl who was deaf and dumb. And she was probably about nine, 10, 11 years old. And I was praying a really nice soft prayer over her. And as I prayed this nice, soft courtesy prayer over her, nothing happened. And all of a sudden, my dad, who is in heaven, who instructed me and taught me a lot on ministry, he pops up in this little bubble like you see in a cartoon. And in this little bubble, there is my dad. Like I said, he's in heaven. And he says, Belinda Kay, you know how to deal with this demon. You command it with authority. And so poof, he disappears. And I look at the little girl standing there and I stuck my fingers in her ears. And I said, in the name of Jesus, I command you deaf spirit, loose her. And in the name of Jesus, come out. And then I reached for her tongue. And I put my fingers on her tongue. And I said, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke the spirit of muteness. I rebuke this spirit that has muted this girl in Jesus' name. Come out. And you know what happened? She began to smile. And she looked at me. And God had opened her ears. God had loosed her tongue. God had brought deliverance to that baby. And she could now make noises. And she could hear for the first time in her life. And she began to cry while I was, I was still ministering and praying over her. They ran and got her mother and told me that she was also deaf and dumb. She was mute. She saw what God did for her daughter. As I laid hands upon the mother, she received so quickly, just like that. And I knew exactly how to pray in authority to take command over that demon spirit and command it to loose that girl and release that mama. And that mama just began to weep as the spirit of God had delivered her from deafness and loosed her tongue. She was hearing and making sounds that she had never made before. Well, then we, then in a little bit later, a few days after we were in another village and I was with my husband at this time, we were ministering together and he had me share about the lady being deaf and dumb and the daughter and her daughter being deaf and dumb. And as I shared that, a young man came up to us in prayer, wanted prayer because he was deaf and dumb. And they had been signing to him. Anyway, I laid my fingers, or put my fingers in his ears, and I put my hand on his tongue after I had done the ears, and commanded the deaf spirit to loose him. He immediately could hear, and he immediately could have his tongue loose where he could make sounds that come out of his mouth. And it was just such a glorious experience because God had healed him. The testimony from the ones before gave feet to the healing that came for that young man and for that mother. It opened the door. And if you will share your testimony, it will open doors. It will release people from bondage. It'll open cells of hell that they are bound in. And when we went to leave that little village, it just blessed my heart. The young man wanted to go with me and Rusty. He didn't want to stay behind. He said he wanted to go with us. And we told him he, he couldn't. But it was such a sweet thing that the testimony, the power of words came forth and brought healing unto those people. All dominoed effect because of the little girl. And you speak in authority and you let it out. You open your mouth. You let the word come out. You let your testimony come out in the name of Jesus. And Father, I ask, Lord, right now that you give them wisdom. You open up a way of putting the word that has happened to them 
into a, a form that people hear, that people receive, and that bondages will be broken and chains will be broken and cell doors will be opened in the name of Jesus. And I thank you for those watching in Jesus' name. Amen.